I saw someone make this recipe on Instagram and I knew I needed to try it. I grew up eating SpaghettiOs and I love them, but now I prefer to make things from scratch so I can control the ingredients, especially the sodium. Also, I like to give healthier food to my kid. Welcome back to my channel, or if you're new here, my name is Stephanie and this is Ginger Snap Kitchen. First, I made the meatballs by combining half a pound of ground beef, three cloves of minced garlic, one teaspoon of dried basil, a tablespoon of chopped parsley, half a teaspoon of black pepper, half a teaspoon of salt, half a cup of breadcrumbs, a quarter cup of grated Parmesan cheese, and one egg. Then I mixed it all together and rolled it into very small meatballs. I added half of them to a skillet with a little oil over medium heat and cook them for five or six minutes until they were evenly browned. Once they were brown, I removed them from the pan and set them aside. I added another three or four cloves of minced garlic to the same unwashed pan. Then I reduced the heat to low and cooked it for about a minute. I added three tablespoons of tomato paste to the pan. I cooked the tomato paste for a couple minutes until it was a little caramelized. After that, I added three cups of chicken broth. Next time I won't add it all at once, so it'll be easier to combine it with the tomato paste. Once it was pretty well combined, I added one cup of ring-shaped pasta. I stirred it quite a bit since it really seemed to want to stick to the pan. Once the sauce was reduced by about half, I added half a teaspoon of onion powder and a quarter teaspoon of paprika. I gave that a stir. Then I added half a cup of grated Parmesan cheese. Once it was well combined, I added the meatballs back to the pan and continued to stir it around for a few minutes until the meatballs were heated through. Then it was ready to serve. And let me tell you, it was delicious. My son and I both loved it and we'll definitely have it again. It really captured all the flavor of original SpaghettiOs, but it was so much better. You've got to try it. I appreciate you sticking around till the end. Thank you so much for watching. See you next time.